So today we are back at the Freedom Boat Club, Katie and I. We're gonna pick up some friends and we are in a beautiful bay liner. Just look at this interior. I think it sits, I think it sits like 12 people. But today is Monday and it's about 78 degrees right now. I think the high is gonna be like 81 blue skies, so. Like I said, we're going to pick up some friends at another boat ramp and we're going to go hit up some spots, get some snacks, get some appetizers, and then ultimately land somewhere for an early dinner. So it's 11 a.m. right now, and I have never seen Lake Eloise this calm before. It's always the more rough lake out of the whole chain, and as you can see, the whole lake right now is just glass. It's awesome. It is so peaceful right now. I learned in the last videos I forgot to turn my hat around, so we're about to get on plane. We're going to go through this lake. We're going to take another long canal that's going to take us to Lake Ship. Got to tilt the motor back down from going through the canal. And let's check out this bay liner, see what we can do. Lake ship so instead of them having to drive all the way into town to meet me at the uh, Freedom Boat Club I can pick them up anywhere I want along the 18 lakes so um, we're on our way to pick up Anthony from Lake ship and we're gonna cruise around a little bit Will and Kimberly had to run some errands they'll be on their way too so whenever Will and Kim get to a boat ramp we're gonna go pick them up and we're gonna hit up some restaurants today I know Tanner's is closed Mondays and Tuesdays that uh, today is Monday so we're gonna hit up um, Old Man Frakes we're gonna hit up the Twisted Prop, and then we're probably ultimately gonna eat an early dinner or just a late lunch at uh, Harborside. So we're gonna show you guys what to get from those restaurants, what they're known for, and just enjoy the day. Like I said, this is beautiful. This is January in Florida right now. So I've actually timed it twice going under this train trussle that we've had trains going above us while we went underneath it. It was actually really cool. You could, you could feel the vibrations through the water of the train going over the bridge. But we're almost through this canal. It's one of the longer ones. You can kind of see the sign right there for Harborside. So that's Lake Ship. We just got to go straight across that boat ramp. We'll pick up Anthony and we're going to cruise. We got some clouds over here forming, but we might be able to uh, outrun the little rainstorms if we get some later. There's the camera lady. How weird it is to go to the lake and not pull a boat trailer behind me. Oh, I know. I'm like, I want some coming here. I'm like, I'm forgetting something. <laughs> what am I forgetting? It's a nice boat. I know. 
I like the interior. Your Uber is here. Thank you. You good? Look at that. Perfect. It's like hey. I've done this before. I know, right? <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm paddling right now. And that's because our beautiful exotic bay liner has shut off on us. And we've run aground now. So we believe we got a fuel problem. We can't find the primer bulb to prime it up. Fuel tank is full of gas. Shifter's in neutral, safety switch engaged. She'll turn over, but she won't fire. So we think we got a problem with either the fuel bulb, not priming it, the fuel pump, or we got water in the fuel. So anyway, we contacted Freedom Boat Club and with the great customer service they have, they're on their way and they're gonna hook us up with a, another boat. So um, these things happen. I'm glad it's happening now at the beginning and maybe we can get rid of go through all these scenarios for we can have the rest of the year problem free. But like I said, this happens, brand new boats, old boats, boats that you own, boats that you borrow. So uh, no strike against Freedom Boat Club. It's just one of those things that goes along with boating. So while we're waiting and pondering life, when I was a kid, my mom used to read me a book called Fortunately, Unfortunately. So uh, today, unfortunately, we broke down. But fortunately, we're in the shade. Could you imagine a better place to break down? And we're right next to Old Man Frank's, so we might go get a few drinks here in a minute. So there goes the Bayliner, and we have ourselves a 2022 Bennington pontoon boat. This thing is, these seats are so comfortable. So we're gonna check this boat out, and I'm pretty excited. Just a little inconvenience, but it happens. This is our boat we're on now. This is a new. 2022 Bennington pontoon boat. So, Will and Kimberly are on their way, so we're gonna pick them up at another boat ramp here soon. But I just can't get over how comfortable these seats are. They all lounge, especially the couch in the back, too. And the captain chair is so comfortable. It's got flip up armrests, digital dash, it's got a kicker radio system, gets really loud, it's really nice. But uh, we're just out here enjoying the calm waters of the Winter Haven Channel Lakes. So we're just cruising through Lake May, and we got one cloud right here above us. So we're gonna try to outrun the little sprinkles. So we got about an hour until uh, Will meets us out here. So we're just gonna cruise around, hopefully stay dry. But as you can see, all these lakes are like glass. It's just a huge mirror. It looks awesome. So we are at the lake ship boat ramp, picking up Will and Kim, they're right there. Anthony's over here talking uh, places to fish on the chain. Still a good day, the big heavy clouds went away. Still got some blue sky peeking through. So 
so we are going across the lake to eat at um, Old Man Frank's, which is where we kind of broke down earlier. And I got a message on Instagram from Dylan, and he's gonna meet us at the boat ramp, and we're gonna pick him up. So we're just gonna go around the chain, pick up random people and friends, and uh, just have a grand old time out here today. So we are back at the scene of the crime at Old Man Frank's and we're gonna get us some food. I think they have really good fish tacos, but I've never had any food from here. So there's the mahi fish sandwich and here's the mahi tacos. So the food was good, the service is good, but check this out. We got some rain coming in. We already had one little shower come across. So we're all gonna load up and we're gonna drop them off at the boat ramp probably. <laughs> so, uh, we didn't get too far. And none of us have a windbreaker. I don't even own one, so I guess that's next on the list. All right, here's take two. So we think if we go slow enough, we can stay in between the two bands and uh, go back to the ramps. But as you can see, typical Florida day, it storms and five minutes later, it's not even sprinkling right now. I'll see you guys later. Hey, man. See ya. Another successful day on the water, even though we got a little bit of rain. So it's about 4.30 now. Probably gonna spend about 20, 25 minutes getting back to the Freedom Boat Club on Lake Eloise. But I think it's gonna be close. We might get between the two bands. Might stay dry. So I just wanna do a little recap. We dropped everybody off. We are on our way back to the Freedom Boat Club. We gotta finish this canal, go through one more lake, Lake Lulu, and then uh, we gotta go through another canal, and then we'll be at Lake Eloise. But we started off in a uh, Bayliner boat, really nice boat. Unfortunately, it had some mechanical issue, it stopped working. Um, if, you're, if you spend any amount of time on water on boats, whether they're brand new, whether you own it, it's borrowed, stuff just happens. It's just, it's just the you know, nature of the beast of being on the water with boats. And uh, anyway, we made a phone call got a hold of Gigi and within like 20 minutes they came with this brand new 2022 uh, Bennington uh, pontoon boat and like customer service like top-notch so far and uh, like no complaints we tried troubleshooting why the boat wouldn't start over the phone tried a few things and it was just like starvation of fuel so there's something uh, inside the fuel tank clogged maybe had water in the fuel or something like that but other than that like you know you, you invest a lot of money into these boat clubs and stuff like that and you know things do happen but customer service makes up a huge portion of that. So when things do go south, you know, we had a boat, it was there in 20 minutes, they dropped whatever they were doing. Um, they had to actually take two boats because they had to tow one of the, the, the boat that broke down back. So um, Gigi and someone else came and, you know, they towed that boat back. Hopefully they're gonna get it fixed soon. And we spent the rest of our day, no issues, on a really nice pontoon boat. And it actually turned out to be more comfortable and bigger than the boat that we, we originally started on. So it turned out to be a good day. Um, they do have some brand new boats that came in that we got to take a little peek of so Hopefully they finish the first service on those this week and they get them serviced and hopefully next week we, we can be on a brand new 2022 boat or might be I think it's too early for 2023, but it should be 2022 boat so That would be exciting. I can't wait to go on it. I think what was it? It was a um with the Pathfinder or the... Yeah, brand new Pathfinder. Center console, nice Garmin in-dash, uh, uh, trolling motor, really comfortable seats and everything. So that's going to be a fun boat to take out and go fishing. So we're almost done with this canal. We're going to go across Lake Lulu and we'll catch you guys when we get back to Freedom Boat Club.
today's Monday. Friday, me, Will, and uh, Anthony are going to the Harris Chain of Lakes in Leesburg. So if any of you are familiar with the Harris Chain and got some tips or you live on the chain, we're going to be there Friday from like 11 a.m. till about 5 in the afternoon. We're going to cruise. We're going to scout places to fish. We're going to take out a bass boat. And uh, we're going to fish. It's going to be kind of late in the afternoon to, you know, catch bass or whatever. But like I said, we're going to scout around through the lakes, go through some canals, and we're going to eat some lunch somewhere and call it a day. So on the 24th of this month, Katie and I are going back with the big deck boat. And uh, we're going to have some fun. Katie's never been there. And it'll be my second time there. So I'll at least kind of know my way around a little bit. But other than that, we are just now arriving back at Freedom Boat Club. So we just made it back to the truck right before the rain came and uh, we're nice and warm and everything. But that was a really fun day. Even though we got caught in a couple of rainstorms, it was still fun. Sure beats a day in the office, especially since it's Monday. So I'd rather have a bad case of the Mondays out on the water than a bad case of the Mondays in the office. So that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, we surely enjoy making them. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. It really helps the videos, boosts them and stuff like that. Give them a share. If you got friends that boat and everything like that, they might enjoy them too. Or if you live up in the Midwest and you're snowed in and too cold and you had to uh, winterize your boat, you can enjoy our boating in Florida videos because we boat all year long. So again, guys, thank you so much. And until Friday, we'll have another video coming out.